And I'm Apples from New Music, New Jersey. I am here in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and we are at Fell, Fell the Great's video premiere of Jersey. The song is so hot. It is such a pleasure to be here with him today at the premiere of his new video. So, Fell, can you tell me about the song Jersey? Because it's, it's my favorite song on the CD. And um, how did it come about? Because it has that, that, that follow me type of beat and it's like really up, up tempo. How did you uh, come about with that? Well, um, my sophomore year in high school, which was um, maybe like six, seven years ago, I heard the follow me song and I was like, you know what? I really want to rap over it. Um, I didn't think anybody was going to rap over a club beat. So I just thought it'd be something different, something new to try. So I tried it and I did it a while ago. and. Um, Everybody loved it back then. And what happened was I had a show outside of Baltimore. And I kind of wanted to give them something, because Baltimore is real big with club music. So I kind of wanted to give them something they could relate to. So I sat down with Sin Jay. We um, discussed redoing the Follow Me song. And um, it's crazy, because I played the Follow Me song to Sin Jay off my phone. And he just did the chords right in front of me. He's like, I think it's like this. And it was just that fast. And then he was like, he had a sample that he wanted to add into it. And I mean, he just turned it into something amazing. That's what happened with the Jersey song. I got him yelling now, one that know what I'm about. Hop on that NJ Pike and follow me back to my house in Jonesy, 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 Jonesy. It's kind of cool because I want to incorporate everyone from everywhere. So I talked about a few major cities and just how the women are. And everything I talked about, like, if you're from that area, you can relate to. Just want to bring you back home with me. I feel you. I was dancing. And for you guys who don't know, um, Sinjay is a producer and engineer. And he's also, um, and he also sings. And he's, uh, actually, he's the guy behind the camera right now. Hi, Sinjay. <laughs> um, yeah, that song is really awesome. Um, like I said, when I heard it, I thought it was really cool. And actually, it is our song our anthem on New Music New Jersey. So you guys, if you're watching the episodes, you'll definitely hear uh, Fell's song, Jersey. Also, um, Fell, with, with the album and the, the different concepts that you do, the versatility, I know sometimes you have that that Drake thing going on with you, and that's because that's, that's just who you are. How do you feel about that when you are compared to Drake? I mean, your looks, I mean, you're, you're very handsome, so you do resemble him, and then your voice. How do you, you know, separate that from, you know, everyone else coming at you with those? Compared to someone that's actually doing something that I'm doing, I like to be compared to people that's already established and already done it. Like, if I'm going to be compared to someone, say, LL Cool J, um, somebody that's already established this in the game, because this is what you're, you've you done. Like, LL Cool J is what he has done over the years. Like, Drake is doing it right now. So, I mean, it, 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 when you compare me to an artist of that stature, he's a great artist, but he's not me and I'm not him. I mean, and I separate the two like that. I'm me, I'm Fell, Fell the Great, I am Fell, that's just what it is. Drake is Drake, I mean, he's a great artist, but he's not me, I'm not him. And um, Fell, where did that name come from? How did you get uh, Fell? Is that your real name or your stage name or how? Well, for a long time, like I've been on both sides of the track. I've had them both on the, the, the crown and the handcuffs, so um. For a long time, people would tell me, um, school teachers, they would say, uh, you're gonna be a failure. Um, a lot of people projected me to be a failure. So if this is what a failure is supposed to be, I thank you guys for telling me this is what I'm gonna be. I love being a failure. So I carried it in the name just to be like, hey, thank you. <laughs> so Phil, I know that you're a songwriter as well. When it comes time to writing your music and um, you're writing your songs, where does the inspiration come from? You know, what kind of process do you go through when you're uh, when you're preparing to write your music? I said, everything is um, 
emotion for me, like when I'm going through at the time or if someone's close to me going through something and they can't express themselves or it touches me, uh, I just put it together. I don't write anything down. I always put everything together in my head and, and I just make the music that way. Um, I'm really into concepts, like um, something may be going on in my life and I'll take it and I'll turn it into a concept song. Like with a lot of artists, it's like um, they just make music. Like I want to get the music a meaning almost. So that's kind of what I, um, I do. But everything is emotional, what I'm going through at the time. Um, and then I just go in, I may listen to a beat or Sinjay, I'll give Sinjay an ideal and he'll kind of build a beat around that ideal. That's kind of what we do. Um, it comes from a special place because it comes from my heart. Well said. Um, so how many, around about how many people are you writing for like now? Do you have a, a lot of artists or? Now you write like R&B music, you, you know, what, what types of um, writing do you do for your artists? Well, um, I write R&B music. Um, I have a few placements on a few artists album I, don't, I mean, that I'm working with. A lot of the artists that I work with, they um, write their own music, um, so that's definitely good. The opportunity to write for some artists is like I, to actually sit down with Sinjay and actually build with him and write music, but for him sometimes it's like, it's cool. Um, I also have uh, been doing some writing for, some, for a kid from Disney. I'm not going to completely put him all the way out there, but I'm doing some writing for a kid from Disney, so um, I'll find out all the information Sunday, which is tomorrow how everything went with that, just trying to get the royalties and everything together. So that should be a real big thing for me. Um, once I get everything in line with that, I don't want to speak on it all the way, but it's, it's looking real good right now. That sounds really awesome. So um, can you just tell me what we can expect from Fel? Because the um, the album that you have out now is Sorry I Sorry for, for Keeping You Waiting. Um, the album cover is like it's really cute. He looks really, really good on that. Um, it's, it's definitely a good look. Is there anything else that you're working on now that we can be um, expecting to hear from you? I know this is the video that we're shooting now. Any more videos coming up or? Yeah, um, we're just gonna keep cranking as many things out. I um, I have the music now. We have the outlet to do everything, and it's just like I'm, like what the album says. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've been keeping people waiting for so long. It's been um, a three-year drought where you haven't really heard anything from me since this last EP album that I just did, sorry to keep you waiting. So it's just an opportunity to give everybody something. I mean, videos, we're, we're doing a lot of videos. My next video I'm shooting is uh, for the song Hero. I actually shot a song, a video not too long ago, Ready, Set, Go, um, where I got uh, 10 artists from the area, kind of united everyone together and um, put everybody on one record and it's a real good record. Um, Video's crazy. Shout out to Sinjay for doing the editing on that. That's crazy. But um, yeah, just more videos. We got Hero coming out. Then we have uh, Wi-Fi. We're getting ready to shoot some some a few other things. But uh, we have a mixtape coming out, Nightmare on Fell Street. We're gonna follow that one with um, Alter Ego Music, which will be the next mixtape. And um, and we probably just give you the final album, which is far from a failure. And that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. That's a lot of interesting things, you guys. So you definitely want to stay tuned with that. And he's in the New Brunswick area. And I definitely want to say with the New Jersey artists that you did um, collaborate together, that's what's up. Because I think a lot of New Jersey artists are, um, what is that called? They're territorial. So a lot of them don't get together. But that's really awesome what you're doing. But the song Hero was a really good song, too. Um, can you tell us the, the concept that came with you uh, doing the song Hero? What what was behind that? Because that was a really emotional uh, song, very meaningful, you guys. I mean, Hero came from, um, I was dealing with someone that really didn't have time to do anything because at the time they were working and they were in school and it was like, wow, like, that's amazing. Like, I dedicate Hero to any woman that's working, that's in school, that's single mothers. Like, I take my hat off to all of you guys. Like. Um, it's just amazing to be a woman that's actually doing something. And it was just my way of saying, like, like, let me be your hero. It's like, let me rescue you to a shopping spree. Let me just give you some retail therapy and take your mind off everything because our women need that. Our women definitely need that, and they deserve it, especially if you're doing doing for yourself. I mean, I've, always, I've came across women that's so independent that they get mad if you offer to take them out to eat. And it's like, you don't have to be like that. Like, I understand. And Hero was just like I said, let me save you. And um, when I came up with the 
the name Hero, it was like, it was only right to incorporate like maybe heroes like Superman, Batman, like superheroes like that. I kind of wanted to incorporate them in there. So it's kind of catchy. That's what makes it catchy, makes it amazing. And definitely, it is amazing as far as, you know, um, everything that he's doing is amazing. So it is a pleasure to be sitting here with you. It's a pleasure to be at his premiere of the song Jersey. I'm so excited. Um, you know, they're going to be shooting that in a little while. And just one last thing, Phil. Um, for all of the artists that are grinding out there, that are trying to, you know, write songs and, um, you know, trying to make it, do you have any advice for them as far as, you know, uh, staying grounded and staying focused? Because, you know, we all have trials and tribulations and life as it is is hard. Is there anything you would like to say to some of those artists out there? Just never let no one take your dream from you. I mean, this right here, what you're doing, if you want to be big time or if it's something that you really want just in life, you want something, go get it. That's that. I mean, don't let the people around you stop you from what you're doing. If it's your dream, it's your dream. That's what I feel like we're doing. Where everyone's ultimately dream chasing and doing something they want to do. This is my dream, and I'm chasing it, and I won't let anyone get in the way. And when people do that, is you just look at it as obstacles. You gotta use everything. Like I use everything, it's like my glass is always full. If someone doesn't like what I do, it, I put it on myself. I, I bear the weight and I continue going. I mean, I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Not, not one man, not a million men. It's, this, is, this is my thing and we're gonna make it, definitely. And I tell anybody that feels the same way, if it's something that you wanna do, all the way do it. Now, um. If people want to follow you, they want to be in touch primarily what you're doing and, and you know, where can, where's Fell going to be, what's his next move, how can we stay in contact with you, follow you, and also um, if we wanted to get in touch with, I mean, if we wanted to purchase or um, get your, your CD, your album, how can we, uh, how can we get all that? Well, definitely, if you, first and foremost, um, everything, all the music, the Twitter, the Facebook is www.imfell.com. That's www.imfail.com. Um, as far as with the music, I do music with anyone. Um, it doesn't matter if you have one fan or a million fans. If it's something you want to do, reach out to me. I'm not a hard person to get in contact with. You go on that site, all my information is there. Um, you can get the music there as well. Download the mixtape free. All the instructions is there. The website pretty much tells it all. So it's just www.imfail.com. And before we go, I want to say I like your outfit. Um, I'm such a big fan of fashion, so I'm definitely feeling the, the jacket and the, and the footwear, guys. He's, he's looking really hot. But it's the video. Why wouldn't he? Okay. So I just want to say it was a pleasure um, interviewing you, Phil. Can't wait. Oh, yes, yeah. First and foremost, I would like to thank New Music New Jersey for coming out and just giving me the opportunity for the interview. I really appreciate that. You guys came all the way out your way for me, and that's big. Uh, I want to thank Sinjay just for um, bearing with me through the madness always. I appreciate you, man, for everything that you do. All my followers, all my listeners, every like on Twi um, Facebook, every ad on Twitter. None of it goes unnoticed to me. I appreciate all of that. Um, my manager, Phoebe, my, my security show. Like, I love you guys to death. You guys keep me so grounded. I appreciate you guys. I just thank everybody, um, all the artists that I'm working with. You guys are amazing, man. I'm, 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 you guys made this so easy for me. Like, this is not hard. It's easy for me. I just got to show up, and you guys do everything else, and I appreciate all you guys for that. Thank you. And thank you, Phil, for shouting us out. And I am Apples from New Music, New Jersey. And again, I'm here in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and we're at the premiere of Phil, the great um, music video, Jersey, which you guys will be seeing soon. So, again, you never know. We might just be coming to your town. Bye, guys. <laughs>